When you think of sporty compact cars, Hyundai might not be the first automaker that comes to mind. Honda, Volkswagen, Mazda, and Ford have sport compacts that are well regarded among enthusiasts for their blend of practicality and fun. The 2017 Elantra Sport aims to put Hyundai in the sporty compact car conversation with a dose of turbocharged power and a totally overhauled suspension. You can distinguish an Elantra Sport from a standard 2017 Elantra with its 18-inch alloy wheels shot in Hankook Ventus S1 and OBLE2 all-season high-performance tires, lower side skirts, horizontal LED daytime running lights, dual exhaust tips, and a more aggressive front fascia. Under the hood of our tester, is a 1.6-liter turbo 4 with 201 horsepower and 195 pounds-feet of torque paired to a 6-speed manual, but Hyundai Kia's quick-shifting 7-speed dual-clutch automatic is also available. The EPA rates the manual-equipped 2017 Elantra Sport at 22 30 miles per gallon city highway, but in our real MPG testing the car yielded an impressive 28.236.9 miles per gallon, making it one of the more fuel-efficient sporty compacts available. At the track, the 2017 Elantra Sport sprinted to 60 miles per hour in 7.1 seconds and finished the quarter mile in 15.4 seconds at 90.7 miles per hour. This makes it slightly quicker than the Honda Civic Sport hatchback we recently tested, but slower than the likes of the Volkswagen Golf GTI and Jetta Gly, and the previous generation Honda Civic C. All of which hit 60 miles per hour in under 7.0 seconds, and finished the quarter mile in 15 seconds or less at well over 90 miles per hour. Road test editor Chris Walton noted that the Elantra Sport's grippy tires made it tricky to launch. He also said that adding too much throttle can easily overpower the front tires due to the car's prodigious low end torque. Despite having larger front brakes, the Elantra Sport stopped from 60 miles per hour in 120 feet, which is 5 feet longer than the Civic hatchback, but just a smidge longer than the pre-refresh, current generation MACDA3 2.5, which took 117 feet. Even though its braking performance was consistent throughout multiple attempts, Walton found that there's a lot of vibration and pulsing from the tires that caused bobbing. He suspects that the anti-lock braking system's calibration wasn't tweaked for the Elantra Sports tires. The biggest change made to the Elantra Sport is the independent rear suspension in place of the standard car's torsion beam to improve its handling. The Elantra Sport finished the figure 8 course in 26.7 seconds with an average of 0.65 grams and produced a lateral acceleration of 0.86 grams, putting it on par with the MAZDA3 2.5 and Civic Sport hatchback. Testing director Kim Reynolds was impressed with the Hyundai's handling dynamics and found that you can drift it slightly by lifting your foot off the throttle. Reynolds concluded that the Elantra Sports balance is its best attribute and said that no one attribute stands out ahead of the others.
because the test numbers don't tell the Elantra Sports' entire story, we took it to the winding roads around Los Angeles, where we found it to be a willing dance partner. Throw the car into a corner, and there's plenty of grip and minimal body roll, allowing you to confidently string corners and maintain your momentum. Understeer is present, but you have to push the car hard to get any .The Elantra Sports brakes proved up to task and didn't show much fade despite spending nearly an entire weekend attacking winding roads. Even with the stiffer suspension setup, the Elantra Sport rides well and does an excellent job of keeping road imperfections out of the passenger cabin. The Elantra Sport steering is a major improvement, offering great feedback, so you know what the front wheels are doing. However, the system can sometimes add too much weight when you're driving normally, making it feel artificially heavy. Hyundai's 1.6-liter Turbo 4 offers plenty of low- and mid-range torque, and it has a deep, raspy exhaust note complete with burbles and pops in this application. Like most modern small turbocharged engines similar to the one found in the Honda Civic, this mill pulls strongly with minimal turbo lag and has plenty of usable power. That being said, there's not much oomph in the upper part of the rev range. The 6 manual has well spaced gates, a smooth and precise shifter with reasonably short throws, and a clutch that's light and easy to predict, making it effortless to drive the Elantra Sport hard on your favorite winding road. Much of the 2017 Elantra Sports interior is similar to the standard car with a few minor changes such as a flat bottom steering wheel, sport seats with more aggressive bolstering, carbon fiber like trim and black leather upholstery with red contrast stitching. However, the lack of other colors makes the interior appear plain. There's plenty of space for four passengers and a generous 14.4 cubic foot trunk that's expandable via the standard 60 40th split folding rear seats, making the Elantra Sport a good choice to pitch as a practical fun car. Build quality is solid with a mix of soft touch materials and padding in areas where your arms would fall, and hard plastics, but in the lower areas of the dash, center console, and door panels, 